everybody! The other day, I went to a large Korean grocery store in New Jersey. Eventually, I found Minari. This is Minari, water drop wort. It's an edible plant. The movie Minari. Have you ever seen the Minari? I watched the movie two times. In the movie, grandmother was just cultivating near the stream. So she planted this, Minari is growing. And while I watching this, just I thought that, oh, I wish they could make a Minari Muchim this. So many people are just interested in, uh, oh, how can she cook? At that time, I couldn't find the Minari. Minari was not in season. I called every Korean grocery store, you know, some Flushing, New Jersey, and I called them and then no Minari at the time. So that's why I couldn't make this recipe. But the other day, I found the Minari, oh my God, so nice. I just decided to, you know, make this video for you guys. These days are very in season. It smells like a little bit like herb, parsley, but this is plump, plump. And when you find a very tender one, so tender one is just really, really good. We make all kinds of food with Minari. We make a pancake or just we can add this to Kimchi, we also make a very refreshing salad-like kind of dish. Today, I'm going to just blanch and season, very simple way. So, Minari is this. I'm boiling my water. When I bought this two days ago, it was really, really fresh. Okay, like this. I like to cut off this part because all brownish. Okay, and sometimes it's really tough, but this one is, I think, is okay. So, cut off a little bit. So, and then, it's like this. You don't have to clean all everything. I'm going to remove the, all the yellow leaves. By the way, <laughs> today's recipe is Minari Muchim. Just like you just put it in the hot water and blanch. I'm going to blanch for one minute. Move to my bowl. And then let's wash. And we'll then drain a couple of times. Let's see how heavy it is. Nine ounces, even less than one pound. I will just make that eight ounces. To give you accurate measurement, I'm going to season this eight ounces. What am I going to do? Oh, I can use it later. <laughs> this is eight ounces. I bought three bunches, but after blanching, the amount is really decreased. I like to chop this into small pieces. Wow, smells really good. I love Minari. This way you will taste the real Minari taste because I don't add any other stuff. Usually, like we make the sweet sour, sometimes we mix it with the squid, blanch the squid and sweet sour spicy seasonings. Um, but today is just you enjoy this Minari flavor and aroma. One garlic clove, one green onion. Green onion. Minced garlic and green onion and soy sauce, sesame oil, all oh, these are just traditional way of making seasonings. Toasted sesame seeds, two teaspoons, just grind. Wow, nutty smell. I love it. Dark soy sauce. I'm using dark soy sauce. One teaspoon and half a teaspoon. Sesame oil, two teaspoon. Let's add sesame seeds. Wow. 
Wow, really smells good. This is Minari Muchim. If Minari is not available, you can't find Minari anywhere, just use spinach or watercress. But Minari has its own unique flavor. You, you should taste this. I made this my lunchbox. This is Geranmari and this is Yeolmu Kimchi, Young Reddish Kimchi. Really. Sesame seed smells so good. Sesame oil. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I feel Minari flavor, that aroma every single bite. Mm. Mm. Crispy and soft and sweet. I will have this egg. <laughs> mm. Young Nedish Kimchi. In Korean, Yeolmu Kimchi. It's well fermented today. Hmm. Today, I introduce you to how to make Minari Muchim. When you find this, pick it up and make this. Next time, if I find Minari again, I'm going to buy a lot. Maybe just nine bunches. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.